I literally, he just, I, who knows? I, the Hobbit for children? What are you, what are you saying? The screw tape letters? That couldn't possibly be for youth. <laughs> I mean, C.S. Lewis's book about a, about a Jesus avatar who was a lion? You say this is for children? No, sir, theology is the study of scholarly men. <laughs> what the fuck? Cool. So, um, Vosh is a guy on the internet. Um, checking out Vosh. Vosh released a video investigating the most cursed viral TikTok drama. It's about book talk. And I saw a Court of Thorns and Roses, um, cover in the thumbnail. So I'm just fascinated by it. I don't know if Vosh knows how to read. I mean, I assume he graduated from college. He probably has like a, like a semblance of literacy. Um, that's obviously a bit of a, a bit excessive. Of course, clear, he's obviously literate. But um, as far as a guy that reads a lot or like should have opinions on books, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm fascinated to find out. So we're gonna watch him give his takes and see what's up. I think somebody told me him giving his takes on books was like almost like un unstomachable. I don't know if that'll be the case or not, but we are going to check it out. So uh, without further ado, let's hop into the video. Also, shout out if Vosh is here. <laughs> Watching this later. Hmm, Vosh can read. <laughs> Apparently, he does not know I have a sociology degree. I keep seeing memes about this on Twitter. I didn't know if the discourse had leaked broadly. The memes that I see, what is book talk? It's just book TikTok, you know? But my understanding... That's like... that. I get, you know, Sometimes you guys don't know everything too, but that is, that is a crazy... That is a crazy thing for your chat to say. I don't know. That. I think I think like I would say about ninety percent of Vosh's problems or the problems I have with Vosh actually probably aren't with him. And if he was just disconnected from the internet finally, he would probably like heal. I think probably most of the most of the issues come from the fact that like Vosh has cultivated one of the stupidest chats on the internet. And I'm including Hassan's chat in that. I think like Vosh's chat um, is like really fucking like collectively stupider than the average person. Not Vosh's fandom, not people that watch Vosh. But if you like type words into Vosh.gg, you very much run the risk of like existing as part of a congenital cognito hazard like to the internet. Like... Just, just because I watched his chat talking, and you know, it's not like you guys are fucking like all saying the most, you know, crazy, you know, oh, these are only, I, we only give the most intimately um, accurate and, and, and big brain takes over here. I mean, I, I, I get it, but like Vaja's chat devolves into being dumb as fuck, like the stupidest fucking human beings talking at the drop of a hat, and I don't know what it is. Um, about him or about them or about the subjects he covers or how he covers them. I don't know what it is about that entire ecosystem that causes it, but it is just like crazy. Um, it's just like when I was watching the debate back uh, twice now, shout out Chariot, by the way, I forgot to say this, but shout out Chariot for covering that. One of the few people that did, probably one of the biggest marks against Vosh is that like I did a debate with him and no one gives a fuck because normally it's like Vosh debate anybody, other people will review it, like, off rip. Like, they'll just check it out. It doesn't matter if it's good, bad, or whatever. But, like, goddamn, just no one gives a fuck about <laughs> him arguing with people anymore. It's not a good sign. But uh, even even Cherry was like, wow, they got into my chat and were like, there was people in my chat that were being a little bit crazy. Um, and just, like, if you watch back through his chat, it's just like, dude, they go to slurs real quick. <laughs> A lot of people are getting Xander Hall wins on Xander Hall's chat is the stupidest chat. Are they? Is Xander Hall white lo white leaf? Is he a white leaf too? I think he is. Getting into reading right now from TikTok, but the kind of reading that they're getting into is basically just like really terribly written smut. It's basically like fan fiction. He is a fucking secret me watcher, dude. Because you don't get the, the. This is not an opinion that Vosh develops on you know? his own. 
Like it's they're 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 trying they're trying to take like fan fiction, but like sort no, of you know what it is? Conyers is a se- shout out Conyers. I know you're watching. It's Conyers watching me, and Conyers fucking feeding my 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 stuff to Vosh. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey TikTok, maybe I don't know. People who never discovered fanfic, yeah, but fanfic is fanfic. It's not the same as like broader reading. You know, it's okay to understand there are different categories of this sort of thing. Also, it also has to be good. You know, it's good if people read good things, I think, ideally. I don't know. I, I, it's not like I, this isn't a, this is just like a, a mild correction. I think the vast majority of people who are into, not fanfic, what we're trying to say in this conversation is slash fic. Slash fic readers and writers and uh, people that read YA level, like, erotica. People that would read uh, Sarah J. Mass books, like, unironically, like, for the content. Uh, is is a Venn diagram with the faintest sliver of of distance between the side, and it's only because not everybody has heard of slash fiction, and not everybody in slash, or, you know, traditional has has heard of slash fiction, and not everybody in slash fiction has just yet heard of of, of like those specific authors. It's just it is you're it's like watching a fucking eclipse happen and become more and more of a of a, of a holistic circle. <laughs> They have so much crossover, it's crazy. They have so much crossover that literally the the book brought up a second ago, Fifty Shades of Grey, started as slash fiction from Twilight. So like it is it is not just a, a like a Tyler take. I'm just describing the system itself, you know? There's not me trying to put together something and canambulate it together. They are they are of a of a hand. If you go if there was a Sarah J. Mass convention there was a Sarah J Mass convention and you went there and you started asking random people what they thought of my immortal. Every people are freaking out, freaking out right now, rushing to their keyboards. If you ask them what their opinions are on my immortal, no, maybe I would say 20% of all of the people would go, I have no idea what you were talking about. Probably 40 would give you a look and walk briskly away. And then 40% more would start fucking chatting your ear off about it. I, I, I stand by those numbers. There's a lot of strange Aeons fans in, uh, in, in, in smut book talk. How You didn't think I was going to get this deep. What, 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 what are you, the, the references right now. If you're lost, stay lost. If you're not, welcome. You didn't know that you had a home here that way, but you do. <laughs> it's not like, I mean, I don't really know. Whatever gets literacy rates up, Vosh, stop shaming. Um, I'm sure there are bad ways to get people into reading, you know, maybe, possibly. What, another thing that I've noticed, okay, okay, slight tangent. Has anyone else noticed? I, I <laughs> My name is Ebony. TikTok. Maybe this is like a broader issue. Why? Shep, Shep having read, or at least familiarity. Shep outing himself as somebody that's probably been on lit a few times. Knowing, yeah, my name is Ebony Darkness Dimension Raven Way. Oh. My immortal is the ever written. <laughs> You've got to take all of it out there. My immortal is written. Is pretty much how you have to <laughs> ever written. My immortal is ever written. Are there so <laughs> my my immortal is ever written? Sounds like a line from my immortal, which I have not read the entirety of, and that's not me joking. I've read chunks of it because they would get posted to 4chan, and everyone's just like, "What? What is this?" And people are like, I, "This is a text that we cannot dive to the bottom of. This is this is." This is an article of a of a civilization that if it's dead, it should be left to rot wherever the fucking tides had buried it. <laughs> Many adults getting into YA fiction. Like, when I was growing up, YA fiction was, oh, you're like 13, 14, 15, 16, whatever, and you're getting into reading? Like, here are some, here are some books written for your age level. But now there are people in their mid twenties who are doing it, and it just. This is so. Uh, this is Vosh is falling back on when I was a child, as though that was not ten years ago. <laughs> Don't ever forget when jo- Vosh tries to. I when I was a child, you. He is talking about the mid early twenty tens, right? <laughs> the guy's like what twenty nine. Um, so you know twenty thirteen when I graduated college. Um, the YA has always been like that. Twilight was categorized as YA, and that came out while I was in the military, which was in the mid two thousands, right? Um, it, it's always been that way. It really just has. So, what you're really trying to articulate when you talk about this stuff is cozies, 
is really what the conversation always comes back to cozies. We're going to get into a little bit of literature stuff here right now, but cozies are comfortable books that you can read and they are intentionally quite predictable, right? They're they're They have certain types of archetypes in them. There's maybe a little few decisions that are here and there that are changed per version, but they're always kind of almost exactly the same. Now, cozy romance, cozy mystery was a thing from basically what you would say like my grandmother's generation and to a lesser extent my mother's generation. So like boomers and greatest generations, they really blew up the standard romance and then the standard and, and really standardized the um, cozy mystery, cozy, rose, cozy romance kind of subgenres. If you want something that's a little spicier than that, YA basically gave you the inroad to it because these are not books that are meant to be particularly challenging. They're just not. Um, they're meant to be read really quickly. They're burners. They're very similar to like Stephen King books. Uh, shout out. I know that people probably maybe don't all want to hear that, but a lot of Stephen King horror is very, very approachable. It's simply written. Like not like he's a simpleton, but he doesn't really like go in, you know, it's not fucking Nabokov trying to fucking like uh, pirouette you into dust with his wordplay or, or something like McCarthy, which is almost fucking impenetrable at times and doesn't even use the right fucking rules to write in English. You know, it, it's very simplistic. It's very straightforward in a good way. The reading level is what we're actually talking about when it comes to YA, not the audience. Young adult is the minimum threshold for entry into that. So basically, this is a common thing that pops up with reading levels all the time. Reading level does not mean the skill or the talent. It just means the minimum threshold that you need to probably be able to read it. People really enjoy reading stuff right around a 6th to ninth grade reading level, which is where I try to write to because I can write at a post-collegiate level. Post-collegiate level looks like your science textbooks. It's the amount of words per sentence and the amount of letters per word. Basically, that's the that's the formula. The higher it is, the higher the reading level. Because it's going to say, well, obviously, a eighth grader cannot read generally this extremely complicated text on chemistry. You know, you have to do, 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 and bring it down. Even if you're just reading for fun, it's nicer to read at a slightly lower level so you can get a nice good pace and the eyes can flick down the page. It's about reader comfort most of the time. YA novels are written for a minimum entry level of kids at about 13 to 18 years old, young adult, right? Basically pubescent era, which means you can give people PG-13 to light R concepts, and you can also use a lot more difficult words, longer longer sentences and stuff that you wouldn't use for an American, and, and you can get like a little bit more of a holistic story. It also creates a space where the overall narrative is much more easy for your average person to just pick up, off rip, read it, and then be done with it and not have to think that much. So if you have like a lot of shit going on, if you are a mother, if you are a young professional who has not very much time to read, um, if you're an easily distracted individual, in general, this, this list can go on. This novel is going to be something that is extremely approachable for you. It is, it is a marketing technique. It does not mean that young adults are the only audience that can experience young adult fiction. And that's becoming more and more apparent here as it goes on. Now, there's a lot of like insults that go into it. I find the young adult category and what it's kind of become to be almost a little too overly simplistic and a little too full of pulp uh, uh, to be taken super serious, but I think it's fine. You know what I'm saying? I think it's okay. Uh, and generally it's fine. Is young adult the same as young adult? Did you mean to put some sort of grammatical mark in there that can tell me the difference between what the fuck, what? Uh, talking about reading, Stephen Brust was a great fantasy recommendation. Thanks for that. Yeah, Stephen Brust, uh, great young adult author. And it's really just the approachability. So try not to think of, and I know it's kind of tempting, um, and you can use it as kind of a pejorative, but, but young adult is very similar to just saying PG-13, where it's not quite R. And it's also not quite the difficulty of understanding conceptually what's going on. 
Although nowadays some of the young adult level novels are hopping into smut and stuff and concepts that have adult shit. That's a bit of a bridge kind of deal, but it's mostly because, and this is ending the idea I was trying to articulate earlier, the modern generation of predominantly female or male attracted individuals who used to like these types of romances don't like the bodice rippers of yesteryear as much because they're just written with a different idea, a different, uh, a lot, there's a lot of men that were writing them. They were written with a different idea of what women are into. They were with different sensibilities in mind. And so now this is the sort of bodice ripper, cozy romance of the modern era. And some of the cozy romances, romances back in the day, smut was no, there was no fucking in the cozy romance. It would get maybe as far as a kiss. So they want the coziness of it, um, and they want the simplistic aspect of the writing so you can kind of get in, get out, and not have to like really spend a lot of your fucking brain waves trying to parse the text. You know, you hop in, you hop out, and then you're good. And then they also want on top of that a little bit of smut. So it's kind of like cozy smut is the genre, but nobody's really articulated it like that. And that's really where slash fiction and stuff comes from. If you talk to a lot of women that... Uh, it's especially women, but shout out all of my non-conforming to that individuals who also enjoy slash fiction, but you guys know who I'm talking about as well. Uh, the people who really enjoy slash fiction, a lot of them treat it the same way people treat cozies. Uh, even the ones that are ongoing, super long stories about, you know what I mean, Ranma one half fucking slash fiction about Ranma and fucking Ukyo dating that's been going on for like 30 years now and it's basically just like hey they fuck every other chapter and are like 15 kids in people go off the fucking rails with these things but they're comfort reads because they're simple they're fun you know all the characters you know all the archetypes and you know you're not going to get surprised uh which is fine i, I don't have a great deal of respect for the skill it takes to make those but i really i don't have any issue with the disposition that would make you interested in, in getting into them. You know what I mean? Uh, that's kind of... I don't know if Vaj is going to go as in deep in depth as I did. <laughs> or if he has as much knowledge of the industry or any of the stuff that's going on. I mean, maybe. Maybe. We'll, maybe. But we, we won't know until we click. Uh, polls and chat. In 11th grade, it was near impossible... For me to understand the opening chapter of Heart of Darkness due to the words and sentence structure, I, unsurprised. Um, there's a bunch of them. You know, I, I read, I think I read uh, Nathaniel Hawthorne's Scarlet Letter at way too young of an age. Because even just thinking back on it, like I get it now. But just a, a plodding, slow, dark, remorseful story about uh, two people in a small village whose lives are torn apart by a single act of love is like... Maybe not for 13-year-olds, you know, as much as you think. <laughs> it feels like, um, I don't know, kind of pathetic. <laughs> like there's adult, there's adult, it's like, it's, it's not like, it's not like the, it's not like books stop at that level of nostalgia readers. Maybe, maybe it's like. What the, the fuck happened there? Did I skip? At that level of nostalgia readers. Not like pathetic. <laughs> like there's adult, there's adult, it's like, it's, it's not like, it's not like the. It's not like books stop at that level of nostalgia readers. <laughs> that that felt like a break. <laughs> Was that a hard break in the content? <laughs> You're not going to tell me that my man Vosh video was about to condescend to women, are you? I would hate for you to suggest he was some sort of misogynist. <laughs> Maybe maybe it's like the reading equivalent. <laughs> they cut out the of hard R cartoons like God Steven Universe. It. If you're 25 or whatever, which I did. Maybe I shouldn't judge it so harshly. I don't know. I think I think the difference, though, at least in my let, let me just say this. Let me say this. I don't find if you enjoy like low level, low brow, boring shit. I can't judge. I read I read like a hundred chapters of Undead Unluck, or at least what felt like. I, I get it. You can read stupid shit. The the judgment is not supposed to come from you enjoying it, right? Like if you go and watch Wally, -E, which is a movie for children, because children are the minimum level you can get into it. If you enjoy Wally, -E, that's fine. That doesn't mean you're stupid. If you articulate your joy as being this has to be 
the most well-written, like, solid science fiction story ever made it, Wally, -E, <laughs> then that is kind of like sued shit. But that's a deeper conversation that I think we might be getting into here. My mind is that if you're, if you're watching cartoons that are meant for all ages, you can kind of meet that where it is. But if you're reading a whole ass book, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, I'm not even doing a voice. I'm not saying that I predicted inherently that Vosh would be reading book hard. Written at a younger reading level. Wouldn't you feel kind of patronized? I don't know, man. If I went back right now and I read like the first Harry Potter book or something, <laughs> even if I liked the story, I feel like I'd be really patronized by the writing because it's written for kids. And I'm I have never... <laughs> What a strange, what a strange take. <laughs> Do I have, all right, so, oh, hey, I picked a good one. Goosebumps, the blob, the blob that ate everyone. Let's see, this is written for ages, uh, I think it actually will say, hold on. If it says scholastic, just understand it's ages eight and lower, probably. Should I do it as Matt Berry? I used to believe in monsters, Alex said. She pushed her glasses up on her nose. The nose twitched. With her pink face and round cheeks, she looked like a tall, blonde bunny rabbit. When I was little, I thought that a monster lived in my sock drawer, Alex told me. You won't believe this, Zacky, but I never opened that drawer. I used to wear my sneakers without socks. Sometimes I tried to go barefoot to kindergarten. I was too scared to open that drawer. I knew the sock monster would bite my hand off. <laughs> I don't really feel patronized. I <laughs> by the writing. Obviously, that one is specifically for like children, children, but it's like a little cute story. You know what I mean? I could, I could probably read through one of those and enjoy it. I, I, I don't even understand what that means. The only time I've ever felt patronized uh, by certain types of writing is usually, um, well, I guess when you're actually being patronized, quite literally, it's usually in uh, non-fictional, stuffy non-fictional collegiate level texts about like social issues and stuff where it's, it's usually like literally being actively condescending to you, the reader. Um but I can't, I can't recall anything I've ever felt patronized. Like literally, like it's talking down to me. Like it, it's, it's, it's my dad. You know what I mean? What do you say? Thing, the same thing about adults watching Avatar: The Last Airbender. No, you would have to really take it like on a book by book thing. It's just a very strange point to make. It's, it's a very, it's, it's a very ill read point to make. Um, I think. And, and, and Harry Potter is written at a considerably more, considerably more complicated level than. Uh, then goosebumps. Goosebumps is for like five year old, five year old to like ten year olds is like the entry level. It, it, like like uh, literally the kind of like scary story you can read to a kid or like maybe like a group of kids at a slumber party. You know what I mean? Like what before they go to bed if they're trying to scare each other kind of thing. Um, but also like I don't understand the pay. I would have to like what do you mean patronizing? <laughs> I've I've never felt condescended to by a book in my life, darling. I'm 30. I feel like I'd be reading it and thinking like, you know, which YA story are they reading though? Well, my understanding is that book talk is full of people who are reading and writing YA fiction, but it's porn, which is an interesting an interesting union of concepts, but that's the vibe I'm getting. Anybody on this godforsaken app read a single book that isn't just straight up poor? Does anybody Again, on this these, these were just, godforsaken These were just linked to me. These were just like, I'm watching. Okay, if you're not a TikTok head, you don't know. This is, uh, this is a fuckboy. I can just tell you. I don't know who this dude is. This is fuckboy shit. This is Cut Day Bow. If you guys know about Cut Day Bow, uh, there's a guy when the bear came out, bear season two, there's a dude that happened to look like him. And he would pretend to cut vegetables at a cutting board and give, like, women, like, condescending sexual advice. <laughs> but he was hot, so, like, that was the entire thing, is he's just, like, a thirst trap, like a fuckboy thirst trap. That's what this vibe is. This guy's just repeating shit that a bunch of chicks saw, or chicks have been saying, but as a guy, so that, like, the girls can be like, man, I feel fucking seen right now.
I'm going to name my next bad dragon Ava after you, you little Zac Efron looking motherfucker. <laughs> with you. Stop, read any book that isn't just straight up. It's, it's not spice. It's not a romantic novel. It's... Colleen, Is he just gonna keep Colleen, saying this? What are you doing here? This was the book talk station at my local Barnes & Noble. I've never read a single one of these books, but why do I have a terrifying feeling that every single one includes an extremely detailed description of certain activities? I heard like- This guy- this is cringe. Okay, hold on. This is- I'm already bored. Me. Mistake! I made a mistake of looking up books to read on TikTok. Every single book- is, every single book has spice. I don't want spice! Okay, boring. This person's boring. No value to this person's points. Yeah, this is fr that was like- Bro, the first link that you, they gave you was cringe. You should have done a, 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 a titty, titty little, tippity tit, 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 tit bitch, uh, titty, titty bit, little bit. Jesus fucking Christ, what the hell? That turned from a joke stutter into a real stutter. That was an actual real stutter. <laughs> I checked this guy's profile and he does actually talk about literature a bunch, so I think he went viral on accident. Okay, then it might be, it might be a joke video that... Oh God, this is why I'm glad I got away from TikTok before I made anything that was too fucking cringe. TikTok, TikTok really does reward the cringe. It rewards cringe and negative interaction at a level that like nothing else does. It, it's crazy. It is a lol cow generator. I've got to teach you guys. I've got to teach you guys deep TikTok lore. I've got to teach you about the fucking, I got to teach you guys about the womb lands. I'm going to teach you guys about womb lands at some point. And I got to teach you about Joker. Oh man. Part two? There's a part two? So many people got mad. I think a lot of people are misconstruing what I'm saying. Hold your horses. I wasn't even making that much of a point. I was making an observation. I, look, I looked up books. This is four minutes long. Okay, boring. Here's a response to it. This is the most, this is the most TikTok response I have. E this is the realest shit. Oh, man. This is what well, this is. This face is one of the reasons I got off TikTok because it's just like you say something, whatever, it'll be like one thing, and that thing will get viral, and then you have to see everybody's fucking viral response, and it's people letting this because a stitch is like the first five seconds, so they'll stitch the first five seconds, or they do a pseudo stitch, which they just download the video and reset. It's a whole thing. It's the it's the worst, and then they'll just sit there with a blank face on. This is it. If you see any TikTok that starts like this, is going to be the most condescending dog shit fight. They could be right. It doesn't matter. They're going to be right in the worst way possible. That's going to make you fucking hate whatever. It could be. It could be like give Tyler free fucking pepperoni pizza from Pizza Hut Day, and and if the guy's like this at the beginning, I'll, even I'll be like, nah, fuck that. I don't know what he's for, but I'm against it. <laughs> It's kind of saying, oh, really? So that's what we're doing now. This stupid fucking, hmm, hmm, hmm. This you? Ugh. I fucking, I fucking hated it. I fucking hated it. The right would do it. The left would do it. Everyone did it. It was the worst shit. The worst fucking shit. I fucking hated TikTok because of that. Does anybody on this godforsaken app read any book that isn't just straight up? It's and when I told you cringe gets it because this cringe ass fucking shit will get remixed a thousand times because you can stand there with, with stink face on while this goddamn video plays and everyone's going to be like, well, no matter what, you seem like a reasonable individual while this guy's making a little butthole mouth. And then that fucking drives the stitched video up in the algorithm and it becomes this fucking incestuous Ouroboros of just trash content just over and over and over again. And the worst part isn't that it exists. The worst part is how addictive it is to try to like touch that fucking Ouroboros and get sucked in and go super viral. And it's like, oh no, can't do it anymore. For free. For free, by the way. It's not spice. It's not a Barely above the Hassan cherry act. Barely. This is just sex negativity. F off. The the future of social media, like as the ages roll forward, um, is deciding which camp you belong to. Uh, people who TikTok are is an app infested by the ancestral in the YouTube replies. He's not like, wrong. Uh, Arrested Development YA fan fiction that's hyper pornographic and terribly written. Or it sounds like you got to improve that, that stink uh, face like and work the algo. No, it's or something. And it's that it's you, not worth it anyway because you don't get paid. Like if there is no reason, there's no almost no reason to get big on TikTok. Like this is true unless your content is directly feeding literally a YouTube page that is at the same size or bigger than your TikTok. It's a waste of time. 
a waste of time. I'm telling you guys, as a as as a creator, if you're a small, cre- do not spend time on TikTok. You'll feel like you're getting good, and like I, unironically, like my videos, my video, I could still probably upload to TikTok because I'm so fucking. I'm like a respected, I don't know, by the algorithm kind of creator. If I started doing it again, blah, 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 I would pop off again pretty quick. I have millions of likes. <laughs> a million. I think I was like a million too. I don't know. Um, and and way more views than that on TikTok. I could look it up, but I don't care. Uh, but you don't get fucking shit for it. And not only do you not get shit for it, you the TikTok video is so short. And the TikTok attention span is so non-existent that it's almost impossible to plug anything that's not up on the screen at the time. So like if it's the one person I think I've ever seen successfully brand off of TikTok is Bar Huddy, who is a guy that does skits on it. Um, Everyone else, like if it doesn't directly connect to a YouTube channel that people want to click on, it's gone. And if you ever try to do something like, hey, Oh, here's a thing that I make. We just want to check this out. Gone. I'll go, I'll go dumb. Cause it's not the same shit you're making. Like they literally just reward you for being free content. And the reward is, is just numbers. And then like, there is no, there is no rhyme or reason, um, or rebuttal for anything that happens to your channel. So like, if you get, if you'll get copyright striked on, you could take a picture of a wall a video of a wall that lasts 15 seconds with no sound on it. And you could get copyright struck. Uh, you could get, you could get banned for hatred and bullying. You could, uh, you could get strikes for racism. It doesn't matter because once you're big enough in the algo, people will see shit and they'll mass report. And the AI algo bot will just decide whether or not to give you something based on rules. Only it knows that are completely fucking unpredictable. I'm not kidding either. Um, I've had videos that had not like that were just literally me bullying somebody and roasting them perfectly fine. I've had other videos where I think I uploaded just like sweet cheeks doing something. And it was like, this is racism and harassment or like bullying and harassment. And, and I got a fucking strike for it. Nothing. No one knows. And then every single one of them, like you can like write into TikTok, but who the fuck knows where the hell that's going? You know what I mean? It's crazy. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's almost useless, almost completely useless for growing your brand, especially if you don't have like something co with it. So like, if you're just like, I'm going to become a big TikTok creator, you better be juicing fucking like album sales or something like that. You better have something else because if you just get big on there, the same way you get big on here by making content, it is time in just time gone, wasted like dust into the ether. You know, like we need to have movies need to have less sex in them, even though movies have no sex in them anymore. And those are like the two sides. You're forgetting the average American reads at a seventh grade level. Yeah, but the average American also isn't reading. So, you know, whatever. The video is two things. And it is two- uh, this is that this is the thing. I, the, the, the reading levels is crazy. <laughs> You, I, I don't even know how they would test for that and get into other people. A lot, of, you can run out of practice and not know how to read at a higher level. It depends on how it's it's even tested. The way to test reading levels is like basically the reading comprehension test from the SAT is like one of the most well known ones as far as I remember. And it was like, can you comprehend this much information and then regurgitate? regurgitate this much information in a set amount of time but like if you're if you're bringing all adults into that i would have to like okay so old people that are like mentally compromised uh non-native english speakers dumb people who just don't fucking read you know what i mean like that is going to that you're not selecting for people that even need to read do you know what i mean like some people just don't enjoy it as a pastime which is fine they just don't like it. Some people are dyslexic. <laughs> Some people have undiagnosed reading disorders. Some people just are too busy to read because they have jobs and they fall out of practice because all they read all day are like standard simple things, you know, over and over and over again. I, like reading level is just one of those I, I see it all the time. Just understand, if you say that people have a bad reading level, one of the fucking first groups that's going to agree with you and start talking about it is going to be right-wing reactionaries because they love that talking point because 
it's basically a su- it's another pseudo thing. It's sued shit, just like fucking uh, IQ is. It's not a test that is. Why? It's not a test that is um, that that can exist with. Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I say goodbye. <laughs> I saw my wife. She's too cute. Um, it's not a test that can exist without like so many variables corrupting it that like it, it, it you can just have it and it's isolated perfectly, you know, um, it, and just definitely tests for one specific thing. Your ability to read is based on like how tired you are during that day. Like if you lose your sight and you were uh, as good, if I had lost my sight tonight and I was good at reading as I am now, but like I couldn't, I, I would be way less, I would have a lower score. So I would have to see the entire methodology and shit before I get into it. But you see that shit brought up in this big hand ring. Oh, no. The children are illiterate. Oh, Johnny, oh, did you see him? The first thing he did when I showed him a Nintendo Entertainment System was he tried to touch the screen because he's used to touch. Oh, oh, the kid wasn't immediately aware of technology that's new to him. Oh, my God. It's the death of the West. Like, it's that shit over and over again. It's sued shit. It's reactionary shit. I, 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 I hold no stock in it. More than, like, I, I don't even like, this is one of the reasons that I even got into streaming. We're probably going to get into this here. I swear to God, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. If I hear Vosh say the words media literacy, I'm going to fucking shit and piss my own goddamn pants. But, like, I've heard fucking Xander Hall bring that up. And it's like, my man, the most complicated thing I've ever heard you talk about were, like, admittedly, clearly you're passionate about it, farming techniques in Minecraft. Maybe you should leave media literacy and your concerns about it to anyone who even can fucking have that conversation. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> Two things only. It's misogyny and it's laziness. Here we go. This is a 21 year old boy whining on the internet. This about is every, fu- okay, every fucking audio quality quality is like largely this. enjoyed by women. A 21 year old. I'm not sure what his age. Has by the way, that's not necessarily her fault with that, that, uh, that if you don't know anything about TikTok, TikTok does that to you to let you know it's a stitch. Sometimes it depends. He might be this guy might be doing it to it too. It just borks your audio. Or it'll download it and it'll put it through this filter that makes it'll make everything sound like a little bit more like this every time you get twit it's, it, it it's very irritating. I don't know. And and TikTok has moved on since I used it. Like right when I got off is when it was doing like 10 minute videos. And I said to myself, if I'm going to make a 10-minute TikTok video that no one's going to watch, why not make a 10-minute fucking YouTube video? And if I'm going to do that, why not just stream? <laughs> has to do with anything, especially since if this was a 30-year-old man, you'd probably still disagree with him. And if he was 21 and shared your opinions, you'd probably agree with him. Your own Instagram bio also says that you're 20-something this yourself. Is bor- why do I care about it? Who, who emailed me? upon them things such as of such as slavery such as certain music genres the list goes on are you saying that as long as it's making money did the lady just say these books sell a lot and this guy's response to it was you know what else sold a lot my people (laughs) you know what i can't even fault him if i was if i was black i'd be doing that shit every day (laughs) Really doing nothing, not doing a goddamn thing to beat the allegations, my man. <laughs> I'm not even mad. I get the joke, but it was the first comment that jo- that the first comment that Vaj could make off of anything was a slavery joke. Is crazy. <laughs> like, 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 dude. A shout out Vaj's editor, whoever that is, out of Thermia, whoever fucking put this thing together. Uh, Dude, you clipped out the misogyny. You could have at least kept in the misogyny before we put in the racist joke. I don't even know if it's that racist. Like, I'm not going to get down onto him. It's just my man hit a level of cringe that is so fucking bone deep that you can't experience him without just remembering. Like, I can, I know what his voice sounds like when he says the N word. And so, like, you can't divorce it from that. And six minutes in, the first actual point he's made, other than this is boring, is a black guy (laughs) was talking about stuff. He's like, does this remind you? Does this remind you of when you were people were were sold? And then he just starts laughing to himself. It's just, 
it's it it's not wrong. It's not it's not like highly unethical. I'm not saying like he should be chased from the from YouTube with a pitchfork and and torches. But like come the fuck on, man. <laughs> If like if you're a Vosh, if you're a Vosh person and you're listening, and there's already chunks of this, 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 there was, there's chunks of this segment that were just hacked out. Who knows how long? We're six minutes into this segment, and the first enjoyable part for him or you is the fucking slavery joke. <laughs> I'm not saying you're a bad person because I literally can't put that together out of just this information. I'm not saying he is either. I'm just saying that's bad content. IMO. Is this just bail on the sh bail on this segment? Just say like, hey, you know, this was a fucking L. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. I don't cl clearly don't even use TikTok. Let me just leave. Let me just go away. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh man. That's good. That's a good. That's a good. That's a good. The guy bit. did bring up slavery. I know he did. I heard him. But like, <laughs> why is that the first? Why is that the first joke you're making out of all of this? That it's just have an idea. Just have an idea of like who you are in the world, and just not. Just don't do the most obvious, most cringe thing. I couldn't even st I was just like it would be it would be weak of me to to stop when the guy said that. It would have been low a low blow for me to have paused it. The way I was thinking and have said, I bet jo I bet <laughs> I bet Vosh is going to make a slavery joke about this guy. If I would have paused it and said it like I was thinking, like I was thinking, it would have been like, "Wow, Va wow, Tyler." You're you're being a real asshole to watch because I was like you know you shouldn't do that let's let's let him talk but he fucking did exactly what I thought he was gonna do. <laughs> it's fine. It, I'm not saying it, dude. I'm not. There's no need to report the video. I don't even think maybe necessarily it's racist. Uh, it's not really for me to judge, but I will say <laughs> six minutes in. <laughs> I think we could get a fucking joke about after all the cringe, all the goofiness, the multiple people skipping through stuff. Well, when we finally get a pause and a little bit of a chuckle, it was, it was a slavery comment about a black guy. That's that you can put together in your mind, whatever you want off of that. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything other than I predicted it. And for me to have predicted it and said it would have been, too low blow for me, if he would, but he did it anyway. Maybe I'm just upset that he stole my joke about him before he could get to it. Speak <laughs> of this thing isn't going to make sense. That's a pretty. Does weird... anyone have any TikToks that uh, <gasps> engage with this topic in a? Less... <laughs> Are we gonna fucking leave? <laughs> Are we going to leave now? dumb way to take is it possibly because we as a society consistently view the things that women enjoy and create as inherently worthless and insipid and frivolous it will always be easy to shit on things that women love and get public praise for doing so okay you're the one that made it about him being misogynistic when that's not oh my god come on i can't go to tiktok man it's somehow stupider than youtube jesus christ did this person mean to misspell misogyny in the tags misogyny is that like its own tag or here's another one? Just come on and say it. We need to stop book talk. We need to completely around. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm not saying that <laughs> he only he skipped through everything. And only made one joke. It's like, why is this guy talking about slavery? Why? And then just literally couldn't listen to more than four more seconds of him and left. I'm not saying that. 
I don't even know what kind of conclusion you could make from that. I don't know why it's so fucking funny to me, but it is. It is hilarious. <laughs> Oh my god, can I stay on stream for another hour or two? Fuck, god, I'm gonna have to like, stay on for at least another hour. Every time I hear a book talker advertising a book, oh. it has at least one of three things. Borderline essay, some freakalicious ginormous age gap. Or I can't, I can't do this, guys. I can't do this. F please, please, god. U.S. Senate, ban TikTok. I can't do this. I can't do this, dude. You, we need to stop. I can't believe people get their opinions from this. Watch ContraPoints and shut up. I have seen the most recent ContraPoints video. It was uh, it was very, very good. I do think, however, that invoking it as a response to any criticism of the book talk thing... The problem is, is that these guys are making such bad arguments that it's making me support the stupid YA arrested development can't grow up sex books, right? Like... I need, I need, since, since I can reasonably assume everybody on TikTok is making- Well, I know, like, this is the crazy part. So Vosh doesn't use TikTok. Vosh gets an email. I guess this is what he said. He said, who emailed me a second ago? So I'm assuming these are all links because he's not scrolling. And he's getting links to fucking TikToks that are, like, more than the 15 to 60 second standard. So somebody, like, emailed him, like, check out these cringe book talk things and so we're just accepting this as a representative sample and moving on now which is very standard pseudo shit like this is sued shit pseudo intellectual shit well fuck what the fuck oh that's not mine that's not mine that's his making a stupid argument you guys need to give me tweets or, or tiktoks that are from the people defending the book talk thing you know you, you, you need to give me the other side you should do it i should make the, the pro book talk thing oh come Have on you heard of new adult fiction books written for 18 to 25 okay New adult fiction, books written for 18 to 25, you are describing people who are upset that they've left school, okay? What, bro, once you leave high school, you're an adult, that's it. That's it. You now belong to the same broader market demographic as 60-year-olds. You're in it now. This is the rest of your life. That is, that's literally untrue. And a profoundly stupid thing for somebody to say who has a button he can click underneath the video, he's, the screen, he's probably one of them that he's looking at that will show him his actual de demographics. <laughs> 18 to 24 is kind of really like young adult. It's not the old young adult, you know what I mean? But like, you know, new adult, I guess is what they called it. That is a demographic. It's one of the most standard and the most valuable demographics. Can I teach you guys something about marketing? Which I guess we skip it back to that. 18 to 25 is one of the best markets out there. That's young people when they say millennials. When you hear one of those, but it's not like but from a guy that doesn't understand where millennials are anymore. That's what they're talking about. 18 to 24, 25. Uh, from there, it's 25 to uh, 38, I believe. So like the 18 to 35, 18 to 38, depending, demographic is all the sort of mixed generational people of what you would call like young professionals, middle-aged professionals, like right there. So that's all people that are usually involved in a lot of new media stuff. Uh, once you pass like 35 to 50 is its own demographic too. Um, and there are sub demographics based like in that area because you find out that certain types of people have different types of purchasing and media habits. But a lot of the times those are overlapping um, because of access and stuff. So like that is literally just wrong. The eight, I mean, like, why would you even say it? Like, can you guys think of a world where 18 and 60 year olds have the exact same taste outside of something that has mass, ubiquitous mass appeal, like sports, you know, um, it's just not a demographic. It, it defeats the purpose of the existence of demographics to, to the, I, I, I don't know why he said it. Like, that's the thing. I was like, this is a, this is the reason that like the Vosh conversation I had with him went off the rails almost immediately. It's because he doesn't seem to know anything about anything. Like he's like a profoundly like intellectually uncurious and like a lazy guy. Like he's like literally telling him like, Hey, if you guys don't send me the information to form my opinion over, I'm not going to form an opinion. Like well, he doesn't have anything to do. He, He's a he's like a fucking rich kid. He he's a rich person with an with a with a sedentary lifestyle that shows in the in his unsandwich body. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like the Al Ghul, I can see it ravages your face. Like my man is not he's not busy. Uh I I do this much research and I'm like rebuilding my fucking house and shit from the ground up, like every other day. I put all this stuff. 
like my man hasn't even changed his backdrop in like three years. You know, like there's no he doesn't have anything going on. Like he's just lazy. I'm too big. I'm too big, and I bumped something, and then everything fucking fell apart. But like, like, like the the things that he's saying are factually untrue. And I know it's like maybe part of him's trying to make a joke, but the joke never comes. And it what what's the fucking funny part of it? He just gets pissed about people not conforming to his immediate understanding of the world, which is just standard reactionaryism. Like, I think he's just a fucking lefty reactionary at this point. Like, he used to have stuff to say, but I think he just found out that being a reactionary online is actually, like, just the ideal. Like, like, like what the fuck does Vosh know about? Where, where in the fuck is this guy's knowledge? How can he not know anything? Why would you say 18 to 60 is a demographic? What, what is that point? If you wouldn't have paused it, he'll make sense. I fucking guarantee you he won't. He's either going to say that three more times or fucking like, like, like chat will correct him and he's going to fucking ban somebody. I don't understand what the appeal of this is other than watch him have like a little, like a little dumpy frumpy. Like you just want to watch his face get red. I, I'm very confused. Your life. Wait, you, you all want, like, you, like uh, you know, please, God, don't let me grow up. Keep giving me what I am used to. It's this nostalgia shit. It's inherently fascist. I hate nostalgia. Nostalgia is disgusting. Not all. Like, you, you can't come out against the concept of nostalgia by calling it fascist and then walk away. Nostalgia, first off, should not be ceded to fascists. You know what I mean? I, I understand its presence in stuff. But just remembering the joys of childhood is an aspect of all humans as they age. Because people just want to remember what it was like being young. It's in so many songs <laughs> and movies and books. It's one of the most common the, the one of the largest commonalities of people as they get old is fondly remembering their youth. <laughs> their, their halcyon days. Like... What in the fuck is he? Why? What, and just hand waved it. It's fascist. What? Why should this be permitted? Why should I permit Vosh's continued existence unperturbed on the internet? I feel like I want to. He might be the perfect enemy. I think I like people are like. Why are you obsessed? How could you not be? How is that permissible? It's not funny. There is no joke. Like if anything, it's just we're laughing at him. He just literally doesn't know anything. And if he can draw the most tangential, nonsensical conclusion to fascism, he'll just say that, flip his hands into the air, fart twice on his cat, and move on. Like, it's insanity. And the, th the problem is not like, I, whatever, he's making his bag. He's a capitalist just like all the rest of us, I guess. But like... If, if he's teaching his dumb fuck chat this shit, and then they're gonna go and respond. Like... You gotta know, if you're a fucking Vosh chatter, and, like, you feel comfortable, res like, relaying his fucking arguments in public, understand, this is what you, you sound like when you talk to people like me. Especially if you're young. If you're young, if you're under 25, and you talk like Vosh in public because you don't know better, understand you're humiliating yourself almost every time you interact with an adult. If you talk to me like this, th if you're in certain respects, respects you might get slapped for your own betterment by certain older people who are just gonna go like hey, hey, hey. <laughs> like they might fucking knock the demon out of you but like this is embarrassing and you fucks do come into my fucking comment section uh i don't know high on fucking like the thought of his ball sweat fucking tainting your upper lip and just like say the dumbest shit it's not arguments i don't know but this ain't it chief and like, I don't know, do you get excited? You're like, oh, fuck, Tyler's going to get upset about it later. I, now I feel like a real human being. Uh, well, maybe the other streamer that's larger will notice me when the younger, the smaller streamer gets mad. It's like, dude, this shit is fucking humiliating for you. Like, I, I, I couldn't imagine. I, my wife would listen to me watch, listen to Vosh. And I still remember having a cringe when I said, like, so I was listening to this guy, Vosh, and she goes, I know who Vosh is. You listen to him all the time. And my whole body went, ugh. Because <laughs> I will. I turn him on while I'm cooking, like, noodles and shit. You know what I mean? Um, and, like, god damn. I get it. But it, it's only just gotten worse. You know what I'm saying? Because he's in this, like, I guess the fortress arc or whatever. But this is fucking embarrassingly stupid.
nostalgia is fascist. I don't want to talk about it. But when is he ever going to talk about anything? When is he going to get into a single subject? I, I listen to him still off stream. When, when like, like the best he can do, literally the best he can do on anything I've seen so far is poo poo things. Like he was even talking about the cast report, right? The other day, which is just like him saying like, no, they did all those different parts of the cast report wrong, which I guess is what people want from it. I can't verify that or not, but that's like bad anti-trans shit in fucking in Britain. Good. Okay, cool. That's what we need you for. But like, I can, you never get anything other than that from him. Like the only thing he ever seems to be able to offer is criticism to the point where his entire argumentation method is basically just Socrates fucking questioning, you know, the, the, the so Socratic method of just incessant questions. And then also just randomly saying the N word. <laughs> If, if he gets stymied by racists, like what in the fuck, what in the fuck is there at the bottom of this? Well, that is so valuable that it's worth saving. Why are people giving him like $500 super chats for this? I, I need to understand because somewhere in that code, uh, that, 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 that fucking network of parasociality and fucking constant glazing is an answer to a question. I don't know how to ask yet. But it is the number 42 of the internet. And if we can figure it out, then maybe we can reverse engineer it to destroy situations like this before they arise. Like, there is nothing about Vosh that draws him, his viewers to him, that is not the same thing that draws what if altist viewers to what if altist. Because there is, intellectually speaking, no great difference other than Vosh was correct at first and what if altist wasn't. But it's the case of a of a clock that happens to have been set right, not because it was actually on its own able to arrive at things. It just happens to agree with the current correct thing. But arriving at it in the same way, like what is the difference between a what if altist argument and Vosh just saying, poop shit, fucking fascism because nostalgia bad. That's why I don't like books that talk about your youth. What is the difference? God damn. <sighs> yeah, nostalgia is an ancient word. Ancient, ancient, ancient word. I think it means like a little pain or something. I don't know. You know why I'm you know why I'm saying that? I'm saying that because of a fucking episode of Mad Men. So don't even listen to me. But it's the fuck the, the goddamn you guys remember, if you've seen Mad Men, it's the episode where they're fucking doing the uh the Memorex fucking slideshow. <sighs> YA is written for kids. It's called YA, funny rhetorician. I mean, I don't know if, like, maybe they're mislabeling it, but if it's called YA, then I have to assume it's written for kids, and if it's not, then why is it called YA, you know? We have different stages to even being an adult too, Vosh, oh my god. If you are 20, you don't need to be written a specific type of fiction. Man, what happened, you know, like, not my age, but, like, my dad's age, he was reading, like, The Lord of the Rings back when he was in high school. This that's, that, that's young adult, that, that shit's fucking super easy. I read The Lord of the Rings when I was, like, fucking 12. It, it's just, it's old, it's an ancient book. Of course your dad was reading it. It came out when your dad was a kid. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Like, dude, that's nostalgia. Are we doing, Does hold that on. Does happen anymore? Do young people even try to read past their reading level? Does everyone just get fed slop that gives them like a same tag list? Like how, how are we doing? Did he say, he said nostalgia fascism and yet we're, a pi we're pining for a time when men used to read books like Lord of the Rings in the same fucking Two paragraphs? Are we doing that? Does he not know how fucking stupid he sounds? It's crazy. That's why I want to talk to Vosh. I want to fucking actually push him on shit. He's a coward. He's a coward and a weak man. And he does not have the balls to stand with me. I will only grow larger. I will only get bigger. And I will fucking stand on the corpses that I have to slay to beat down his fucking door till he can't ignore me. And I will fucking expose this idiot. Because what in the fucking shit is he seriously talking? If you're a fucking Vosh fan, you're obsessed, you're obsessed. I am now. I am. I am. I want his face to adorn the fucking shield that I carry into combat against greater foes. I want people to know I have swallowed his soul and grown stronger for it. I am obsessed. He is literally the only thing I'm going to think about until I fucking break whatever spell exists. This is insane psychotic he is just a reactionary here like he's literally anything that happens he's just being a shadow to it and it's all he has is literal shadow puppetry two things wow all you kids just want to talk about kids like blah 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 nostalgia is a tool of fascism remember when my dad was a child and he used to read lord of the rings what happened why are kids today not like they were 
How did you get to a youth today argument? You're 30 or whatever the fuck, 28, 29. Who gives a shit? You were born after in the, you're from this millennium. Who gives a fuck? You know what I mean? Or the late nineties. What? What in the fuck, man? Oh my God. Oh, like how do people challenge themselves? Is that a thing? Is Lord of the Rings not YA? No. Yes. Like a boomer? I, I, I don't, I, I don't think so. I like, I don't know. It's just, it's, I can see. How would you know? How would you know your Vosh? You know how you could look it up. There being issues with every bit of writing being like all of this is being catered to like a very please don't let me feel like I'm growing up attitude. I'm sorry to say this, but Lord of the Rings is considered YA. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Are we, do we have very different like category? When I think YA, I like I'm talking about something that is absolutely. You, you, you don't know what you're talking about. He just literally doesn't know what he's fucking talking about. He just he just confidently wrong as fuck. He just doesn't know what the, he doesn't know anything about any of this shit. He is literally stupid as fuck. Man, fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. I want, I want the smoke. I want the smoke. I don't give a fuck about his community. Fuck VGG. Fuck all you fucking orbiter fucks. I'm going to start creepy crawling through you. I dare you to fucking respond to me. I will, I, anytime. Call me into your little fucking calls. I don't give a fuck if it's 10 on 1. I want the smoke like you wouldn't fucking believe. This shit can't be permitted to stand. You can't. What, what in the fuck, dude? Let me link you to a Vosh fucking, right? I, of all the stuff, I, I, everything that I've ever seen him talk about where I know about shit, he is clearly completely uninformed and uninterested in learning more about it. And I'm getting frustrated beyond the normal amount of frustration because this is fucking crazy. I think it's getting worse or maybe I'm just noticing it more because I can't interact with him as like a fan and just ignore half of what he's saying as I'm playing video games. Like, where do we go from here? Why, why is this permitted? Why must this exist? I, I, like, there, there's the debate. There's the debate. Shout out Xander Hall. I don't know. Who, who else is a Vosh Orbiter? Tipster? Are you a Vosh Orbiter? Keffels? I don't give a fuck. I, 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 I am going to do, I think, to this community what Noah Sampson thought he was going to do. At some point, I, 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 I don't know. Like, what? The Vosh is a fucking sued? Like the the thing, like uh, Doomer Media failed. Vosh is unironically evil. No, he's just a sued. He's just a sued, and he always has been, maybe. But like he was funny for a little while, and he actually talked to people, and sometimes he took L's or like kind of stumbled. But now, what, what like now, th his tower's not even made out of ivory. It's just a bunch of fossilized horse cocks that have been painted white and set against a fucking field of blue. I want to knock it down and see what happens. I want to see what creepy crawls out of the fucking slug morass at the bottom of it. I want the smoke. I don't give a fuck what the debate is on. I'll prep for it and I'll fucking annihilate him. I'll argue. I, I can't say I'll argue crosswise because I don't want to fucking say anything good about things I don't like. But like, fuck me. Holy shit. Holy fuck. I cross myself in the name of Corn, the blood god, god of war, god of vengeance, god of death. <laughs> call me, your, call me up, call me forward, your greatest servant to strike at this moron. <laughs> what is objectively the not in the same. Does, does what, what does YA include? Like what, YA doesn't just mean like you. Can I already really defined this team. at the beginning. YA I'm like, glad I did too because I was like, well, maybe he'll know. Wrong. Archetype. It's 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 not just like the reading level. The structure of the book is why it includes a lot of stuff. Here, let's just read some of the stuff that people linked. But first, let's let's. Is this guy gonna make a point? Or straight BDSM. Dude, that's a crazy. What in the fuck? Okay, so you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> You've established you have no fucking clue what the convert. You don't have a knowledge base. You don't have enough surety in what you already know to even trust, but you're like, hold the fuck up. Hold on. We'll listen to more of him, even though I don't even, I can't even have a literal intelligent take on what the fuck he's going to say. Cause I don't know anything about it. I literally, he just, I, who knows uh, the Hobbit for children. What are you, what are you saying? The screw tape letters that couldn't possibly be for youth. <laughs> you know what I mean, C.S. Lewis's book about a about a Jesus avatar who was a lion. You say this is for children? 
No, sir, theology is the study of scholarly men. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> anyway, dude, why would you turn this guy on? He could be right. He could be wrong. You will never know. You'll never know because you don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. Why did you start talking about books, Vosh? Why? You can barely handle conversations about anime. I don't even know if I would really trust your opinions on most video games. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 I feel like Vosh could fuck up an opinion on Pong. By getting it mixed up with asteroids, and then when someone told him there were two different video games, he would say, I don't know, the 1960s had racism in him, and it's weird for black people that you brought that up in the first place. And like, then you have to fucking clean up that mess, because he does a little poopy pants, pee pants on the floor in front of you. Like, am I describing anything that's impossible? Emily, like, tell me the moment where I stepped out. Tell me the moment literally where I stopped describing observable reality as it appears in front of my fucking eyes and ears, because I am either delusional or this is psychotic. <laughs> like, the most undeserved confidence in the world. And I feel like I can snatch that confidence away from him. I think I could break Vosh. I really think I could. I kind of want to. I kind of want to stay. I kind of want to take something because he had the balls to lie about me, first off. I know I'm small, but people have tried to say, like, you know, he's a bigger, Vo he's, he's a bigger streamer and shit, and you should have respect. But I don't like that. I'm an American. I like breaking things that are bigger than me and tell him the biggest thing around. So shouldn't I do that? Maybe that, maybe I should be obsessed. Maybe this should become my fucking, my, my thing. <laughs> where, where's the, where we need a fucking Vosh's my channel is dying video and then we'll stop. Just once a week, some describing what he's talking about. The Lord of the Rings was released, it was considered the same grouping of things that YA is considered today. I, okay, when I say YA today, I don't think YA existed back then. Like I'm talking about a specific kind of thing today. When the first term first found common usage in the 1960s, the late 1960s, it referred to realistic fiction that was set in the real as opposed to imagined contemporary world and addressed problems, issues, and life circumstances of interest to young readers aged approximately 12 to 8. So the term goes back to before my, right when my dad was like three. Um, been around a minute, over half a century. So very old. Um, da -da -da -da. when did adolescent literature start young adult literature is a genre that's separate is separate from children's literature it emerged in the 20th century when teenagers became a powerful force of the economy in the 1930s and gained prominence in the 60s so quite literally as literacy increased post-industrial revolution and the children of the industrial revolution started sending their kids to school because we started having public schools then uh, young adult literature started to pop off is, is how, so if we go to, um, let's see, when was modern, when was, uh, modern public school established? Let's see. Okay. So they began calling for free compulsory school for every child in the nation. Massachusetts passed the first compulsory school laws in 1952. New York followed the same next year. And by 1918, all American children were required to attend at least elementary school. So 19, all kids have to go, 1918, all kids have to go to school within 12 years of that the time, a bunch of them are young adults, young adult literature becomes a massive thing. Those kids go to world war II, become boomers. And when their new wealth lets them get all kinds of massive amounts of schooling and uh, afford luxury purchases like books for their children, young adult literature pops off. So there has always been an interest for it. Literally, we were just unable to give the education and access to books and writers necessary to do it. So it has evolved continuously for the last hundred years. There you go. There's a fucking answer to your question. It took me that fucking long to just look shit up. I guess I did have to have a knowledge base of knowing that public schooling was a thing and would affect children's access to literacy and desire to read. But yeah, it's novel. Young adult lit literature and young adult fiction is novel in the way that the novel is novel. <laughs> Mass literacy is novel. Um, yeah, yeah, I guess we've only had mandatory public fucking schooling across the nation generally since uh, about a hundred and some odd years ago. What in the fuck, man? You can just look this shit up. Why are you guessing? Why would you think that you have this somewhere down in the fucking guts of you? Also, how are you a fucking sociology major or some shit? And these are like escaping you. Like, this is like, ah, oh, fuck. Like, like, shouldn't, 
sociology person be a little bit more deeply attenuated to the development of like shouldn't a fucking sociology major know the difference from demographics shouldn't shouldn't they fucking understand demographics god damn it what what i'm uniquely able um as a sociology major i'm uniquely able to parse uh studies and understand the information that's held within also uh i just feel like people that will miss being young after they graduate school are uh, stupid because they're in the same demographic as 60 year olds like okay yeah what well, he's being fucking um hyperbolic but like when did the hyperbole end because if you set it to 10 i have no way to distinguish when you're not being it and if you never make a single point that's smart or th shows that you know what the fuck you're talking about, then at what point am I supposed to get a fucking basis to find out, like, oh, okay, you actually know what the fuck you're talking about? Like, my man is just literally a suit. That I don't think existed back then. Like, it's a, it's a relatively modern... <sighs> But I, 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 I admit that I'm sort of like waffling a bit with vague definitions, but okay, whatever. Has Tyler well, so talked to Demon Mama? Like I think they might get along. I don't know what I would talk to her about. Happening. Which causes all the book top gurus to crawl out of their caverns and be like... Or I would talk to Demon Mama if you're popping through, dude. I'll talk to you about anything. I don't give a shit. By the way, I, I say dude to everybody. Don't get... It's not a gendered dude. I go by the good burger rule. He's a dude. She's a dude. We're all dudes, yeah. So I'm a dude. He's a dude. She's a dude. We're all dudes, yeah get information from stuff like this this is like anti-information like i would rather get information from tim pool than shit like this and i'm not even kidding like at least youtube allows you to say th like I, I don't the radical dino can you please tell xi jinping to call off his attack dogs and stop inflicting tiktok in the west please listen okay you win chinese cultural victory okay the east is red the, we the, the west is red everything is red you win can you please call it off i'm begging you Bosh, you have collectibles and Legos at 29. You're telling others to grow up. Ooh, feeling defensive, a random furry. A random furry. Feeling that, that was defensive. I mean, unironically. But, like, like, like you're, you are doing the shit thing. Like, like, you are being a piece of shit, Vosh. Like, you're, you're saying that certain hobbies are for people of certain ages, and the hobbies are definitely things that, like, anyone can do. Like, that's a reactionary mindset. It's a reactionary fascist mindset to say that people shouldn't enjoy things because of a certain age or, or something, you know, especially if it's a thing that anyone can do. It would be no different than saying, like, telling some, like, woman in her, like, mid-30s, like, you can't rollerblade. Like, rollerblading's for little kids. Like, yeah, little kids probably rollerblade more because adults have less time for it. But if that's that woman's hobby, shut the fuck up and eat, like, literal fucking poison, you dipshit. Like, shut, don't, don't bring your ideas outside of your home anymore. But what, what are we talking about? Like, people enjoy trash. What, we're, anime exists. It's the same thing in a different form. Like, Gantz... Gantz is almost indistinguishable content wise in its way, even though Gantz is for boys. The flip side of Gantz is fucking a court of thorn and roses. I hate to break it to you. Hate to break it to you, but it kind of fucking is. Gantz is booba and sex and monsters from everywhere. All of the monsters in a sci fi setting that makes almost no sense, packed full of more fucking plot holes than you can imagine the difference mainly is that Gantz looks fucking beautiful like but if Gantz was badly drawn like it would be indistinguishable from from the same sort of thing like literally blah 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 god damn feeling very defensive ooh feeling two goons to horses okay, like literally what is the age by which I mean find literally any example that I can use to make an argument off of but it's true if, if you think the point that I'm making is People who are adults shouldn't enjoy all age stuff, then you don't understand the point that I'm making. But I admit, which is your fault because you said that. Because you said that. Be because you. It, it, here's the thing this is why Vosh got pissed off at me when we fucking debated, is because I just remembered a thing he had said earlier in the conversation. And by earlier, I mean the literal previous point that he had made. And so when he was just like, okay, so do you think that women should have to wear makeup in the workplace? And I was like, well, no, they shouldn't have to, but they kind of do because it's required as part of the standard grooming thing for a woman to look normal according to societal standards. And he's like, well, I don't really want to talk about workplace attire. He literally brought that up. You know what I mean? So it's just one more thing. So if I just think, Vosh saying, uh, you're, you're clearly not understanding my point. By the way, it's what a faultist's same argument. Um... You need to listen to what I'm trying to say and stop trying to interpret it on your own. Like, you were just wrong. You're just wrong. You were wrong at the beginning, 
And the, the point that you made was that point. If you want to say you don't stand by that point, or if you said that, it's incorrect, that's fine. But he's so fucking full of himself. Like, the dude lives so far up inside of his own asshole that he can't just admit he's wrong, which somehow actually makes him, like, three times less forgivably cor- incorrect like than he was a second ago. It's great. All you have to do to f- is just remember what the fuck he said. Like, if you take notes against Vosh in a fucking debate, you're probably going to fucking wrap the floor with him. All you got to do is have, like, a brain that is fast enough to keep up with, like, middle tier level of fucking FPS shooters, and you can probably take him out. <laughs> just like, God damn. Holy shit. We haven't really had the ability to engage with an argument yet, so I can understand that you guys don't understand what I'm saying. I also... Ag- you... You turned everything off. He turned it yet again. I don't understand the argument. We haven't found an argument that I can get behind. He turned stuff off because it was boring. You, you, you created the facile lack of an argument by suggesting that it couldn't exist. But the people were making arguments. You just kept turning them off. Like you, you paused it and then turned it off and said, what's, there is no argument. But there were arguments. The other guy tried to repeat himself twice. Also, don't watch fucking Stitches if you're trying to understand the first person. Just go back to the first person. Understand the operative nature of the system that you're trying to fucking get the information from. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, Because you don't even understand how to access the information that's there. There's so many problems. It's so lazy. There is such a depth a depth of fucking pseudo intellectual horseshit here that it is crazy. I'll take the fight. Bring it up. All of his fight. I don't give a shit. Call me a clap shark. Call me a says I don't give a fuck. I don't think. I don't think Vosh has it in him. I think he got lucky and he knows. Because whatever this is, do, does any side of the fucking aisle need it? We're going into an election cycle. Is he going to start fucking turning off CNN and shit when people are like, "Well, I just wish that somebody would make a more interesting point." I, I just need to find the. Ar- where's the argument here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you even talking about it? Thermia, whoever the fuck put this, his editor, can you explain, like, like literally link them, me in this video, Vosh's editor, can you fucking explain to me what the value in this segment is? Because you're just making him look like a fucking dumbass putting this on the internet in the first place. So, like, just at lefty to lefty, what in the fuck are you doing as uh, as, a, as a creator in this area that's assisting him as an editor that is doing any, like creating anything of value? Because this is a man looking like a fucking dumbass, stumbling over un- the most basic facts about almost every type of thing he's interacted with up here and accomplishing literally nothing but looking like a dumb fuck. Tell me how this is not alienating to people. Tell me how this is good quality content or like, do you give a fuck and you just need to put out slop into the bucket that VGG eats out of? Because what in the literal fuck were you thinking when you posted this? Like, this is just, this is insanity. I would be, I would, I would be humiliated. You just posted a video of him not knowing anything and not engaging with shit, making one fucking slavery joke and then saying like, nostalgia is fascism. And then just contradicting himself again and again and again and again. It's it's madness. It's literal fucking insanity that no one else is seeing this. And I think now that like maybe it's just I'm, I'm being emboldened by the fact that other people are seeing the same things that I see that like I feel less crazy because I remember interacting with some of this shit before and being like, I want to write this person, but like, I don't know. I, I don't want to get jump my, uh, I don't, maybe I was nervous. I, I was just afraid, I guess. Maybe I was just scared. Um, and I needed a little bit of a community to feel bold, but like, fuck bro, Tyler, this is about nothing. Like, yeah, but like, it's about nothing. That's where the base of things are. You know, when you talk about shit, that's nothing stone, you're dumb as a rock. You're, you're, you're dumb as dirt. You're, you're, you're stupid. You're, you know, the people, salt of the earth. You're trying to say that things are the most base thing. Well, that's the base thing. And if the base has nothing, then what does the fucking castle you've built stand on? Like most basic shit you can't fucking handle. Would you float above us on a fucking helium balloon full of your own methanous farts that, you know, a gigantic fucking uh, membranous fart sock that you're floating through the air, breathing in and out of huffed out of your mind. Ed eyes red as the horse assholes you're glazing yourself to. What in the fuck? You need to have a base. You build things upon the base. 
If you if you're just displaying a natural lack of understanding, intellectual curiosity, or fucking just uh, endeavoring to understand stuff at this level, like how is that not fucking humiliating for you? But also, why are you putting it out? If you if you're making content where you're like, I clearly can't be engaged to bother with this. I don't understand what's happening. And I don't want to interact. How is that good? You're just literally the same as all of the senators that are in fucking that you're always we're always complaining about. All of us are complaining about that are too old to know about TikTok. Vosh too, literally too old to know about TikTok. Like what in the fuck? And unironically, just being so upset with it and not understanding it that he is taking the same side as the senators who would who would generally disagree with him, and not in a way that like he's like 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 laughing off. What in the fuck? What are we getting? What are we getting from this? Why are you making this? Why are you humiliating yourself with this content? Is it, are you trying to become a lol cow? Is that what it is? But only like VGG gets the milk? Do you know from the one udder in the fucking horse stall? Like what in the fuck is the point of Vosh's content creation cycles these days? Because it seems like he's just desperately reacting to anything while not giving a fuck. And eventually this is going to come back and bite everyone in the ass. Because... He is a fucking sneeze away from bringing this fucking energy to something where someone too big for him to ignore is going to come kicking his fucking door down and humiliate all of us by putting him up as a representative of the left. Like, it's unironically, it's time to fucking break away and just saying, like, he's just a guy that's here as opposed to he's one of the biggest voices. It is unironically time to permanently fucking break with the, like, concept of Vosh being a defender of, representative of, or in any way, shape, or form emblematic of us, because what does he fucking bring to the table? Racism con controversies, sexual controversies, a general lack of understanding about literally anything that is not just something I could hear repeated on CNN by somebody who has not leaked their fucking porn folder online. Like, what is the value? He doesn't even fucking debate anymore because he's fucking too scared of people like me who are just going to not let him talk over him. He's a coward. So, like, what? Cowardice? Stupidity? Perversion? Depravity? Where is the value in him? Other than, like, nostalgia for a better day, which is emblematic of fascism, as we've learned. Hope you enjoyed your time on the west side. Go ahead, check out my...